Hello everyone, this is YouTube 31 Pockets and I'd like to welcome everyone back to part number three of my Tecumseh Snow King carburetor rebuild video. So let's get started. Now we're getting ready to, to install our new bowl gasket and our needle and seat and these are our part numbers here in case you guys need them. They're, they're Tecumseh numbers and this number for this kit is 631021B. Now this is just a general um, kit for a quick fix. It's not the complete kit which is about $25, $26 with a new float and new bowl and all the new um, um, metering um, needle valves and our jets and all that stuff. So we usually don't have the problems that um, other people have and I don't usually like to get the full kit because typically most carburetors don't really need it. If they're that bad, generally I take the, the carburetor and uh, pitch them right in the junk and just replace the carburetor. So anyways we're going to get started with the reassembly of this carburetor next. Now to get started with the reassembly of our carburetor, the first thing we're going to do is take and install our seat and we always want to remember to put the seat with the ridge part of the seat facing down towards the, the carburetor and before we do that we're going to take a little bit before we install we're going to take a little bit of carb cleaner and squirt it in where the seat goes then we're going to take and make sure it's lined up properly and then we're going to push it in by hand slightly at first and then we're going to take our flat and punch a small punch and then push it down inside till it bottoms out now we want to go around the edge a couple times to make sure it sits and seats into the bottom of the carburetor now we don't want to mash it in we want to be very careful when we slide this down in there once it's set down in the bottom, our next step is to install the float and the needle. Now to reinstall our needle, we're going to put it back on our float and it goes on this tab. So we'll slide it. We always want to arrange it so the sharp end or the open end of the, the clip points at the back end of our carburetor. So we're going to take this and slide it back through the tab. Now we're going to take it and reinstall it back into the carburetor like so. And then we're going to take our roll pin and put it back in. This is going to take me two hands, but the next step we're going to go through is setting up and adjusting our float. Our now. float, we're going to take a small screwdriver and poke it in where that tab is and we're going to push up on it and press bend down on the, on the float to bend it so our float will fall down a little bit lower and we're going to keep adjusting this until we get our limit right. See we're, we're still at the upper end of our limit. So I gotta bend it down just a, a tiny bit more so I'll see if you guys can see this. This is how I do it. I gotta press down on the float and pry up with a screw this little tiny screwdriver on that tab slightly. Okay. Now we'll see if we got any further. We're gonna take our float meter and we're still up a little bit high. Now we're gonna put it across where it meets where it meets our um, the gas intake right here. We're going to keep doing that till we get it the limit right. That's still a little bit too high. 
We're gonna bend it a little bit more. You gotta be really careful with this. Okay, that brought it down a little bit. Let's see. Now we'll try it one more time. Put it with a gas. It's going to go a little tiny bit more. We don't want to go too much at once. If we go too much, then it's a little bit harder to straighten it out. So we're going to press down a little bit more. One more time. This should do it. Still a little bit more. <laughs> so. Should be the last time. I'll we'll line it up across with our gas. And we're right on the button. You got it right halfway in the center in the center we just want to make sure it's relaxed when it falls down so it's right in the center of our limit which is this little peg to this upper piece that's right here on this meter so that just about does it that pretty much takes care of our our alignment and adjustment of our float so our next step is we're going to put the bowl gasket back on and then reinstall the bowl. So that's what we're going to do next. I don't usually do this in front of a camera so it's a little difficult for me to you know, do for the first time. Usually I just whip it done but um, I want to try and be careful you guys so, so you guys can see you know what what we're doing here. And now I did take some also high definition photos of the actual Tecumseh manual um, where it's using and explains um, a little bit about the float adjustment tool and it goes over the setup of setting up our um, needle and seat and setting the um, the pin that holds the needle in in its proper way because if you don't do that, you really wind up having a mess, a very messy uh, project. So we're gonna. We're, I apologize for taking a little bit too long on this part, but it's it's kind of important. Um, this is probably the single most important thing, other than keeping our main jet clear, like we did on the Toro snowblower, for so we're able to adjust it. So that'll be our next step: is cleaning this out with our um, torch cleaning tip wire files. There's little tiny holes. Let me see if I can zoom in so you guys can see them. I'm not sure it'll show. Well, the camera's not behaving, so. But, anyways, I'll take some high definition photos and put those in for you guys to see them. Now we're just about out of time again for this episode, so I hope you guys stay tuned in, and until um, next time, thanks for watching.